Hey friends, it's Sean with iWashYouDry.com and today we are whipping up another fantastic easy weeknight dinner. It's my creamy ground beef with shells and it is so delicious, it comes together in minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is put three cups of medium shells to boil. All right, while our pasta shells are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and heat up our skillet to medium heat and we're gonna brown one pound of ground beef as well as one chopped red bell pepper and just a half of an onion that's been diced. Now, if you wanted to, you could also substitute the ground beef for ground turkey, but I would recommend swapping out the beef broth that we're gonna use later for chicken broth. When I'm working with a big skillet like this, that's nice and heavy, and I need to drain some fat, what I like to do is scooch everything to one side. Then I'll lift it up and let the fat drain to one side and then I'll just grab some paper towels and let it soak up and some tongs. And then I can just throw this straight into the garbage. All right, now that I've got all that fat removed from my pan, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my garlic. And I'm just gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic. And we're gonna stir this until it's nice and fragrant. All right, and now I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And this is just my homemade blend. I'll go ahead and link to it in the blog post half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna go ahead and stir this all together, get it nice and fragrant all throughout. Mmm, smells so good. All right, and in order to make our creamy skillet, I'm gonna create a roux, and to do that, I'm gonna use three tablespoons of my favorite Lando Lakes butter spread with olive oil and sea salt. And I'm just gonna pop this right into my pan. I love this stuff for making easy weeknight dinners just like this. I have a tub in my fridge all the time. <laughs> Always handy. We're gonna melt that in to our ground beef and peppers and onions. It's gonna add a nice rich flavor. All right, and now we're gonna whisk in just a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and we're gonna coat the ground beef. It's gonna soak up that butter spread and it's going to be the base for our creamy sauce. And once the flour's been cooked through, it only takes about a minute. Once you don't see any more of that white flour bits in there, then we're gonna Gradually add in two cups of low sodium beef broth. And you wanna do just a little bit at a time because it'll thicken up. Nice. All right, bring it to a nice little simmer let it get thickened up. Let's go ahead and make our sauce nice and creamy by adding in a half a cup of sour cream and just one cup of mild cheddar cheese. And we're just gonna stir this in until it's nice and creamy throughout. And by now our pasta should be just about ready, just in time to go ahead and add it to our sauce. 
And the pasta is gonna soak up some of this sauce. So I know it looks kind of soupy right now, but it is going to be the perfect consistency once we get all those noodles added in. Here we go. And then just get a nice big spoon. Stir it all together. This is so great for a busy weeknight when you just want something that gives you a nice comforting hug. Oh, this is so good, so hearty, delicious. My kids literally gobble this up like it's nobody's business. I love the little bits of red bell pepper in there. The Italian seasoning really makes this dish shine. Let's just go ahead and add some fresh parsley right on top, give it a nice boost of flavor, a pop of color. And there you have it guys, dinner, ready in just about 20 minutes. Doesn't get better than that. Mm, so good, I'm gonna go ahead and serve myself up a bowl here. So creamy and cheesy. Mm. All right, let's give this a try, shall we? Looks very hot. <laughs> mm. Mm. This dish is so good. It's so creamy, beefy, and you got the nice pasta shells in there. You can substitute any type of pasta that you'd like. I, just, I think the shells are really fun and it kind of scoops up some of that sauce mixture in every bite. Mm, so good. Go ahead and check out this full recipe on iwashydry.com as well as more fantastic easy weeknight dinners just like this one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.